Hello and welcome to the Input Up and Down Explained tutorial. In this video, we're going to be going over the input actions and describing the differences between the ones that say get, get up, and get down. So let's take a look at the actions here in the action browser. So in the input category, we have things like get button, get button down, and get button up. And what follows the same naming convention is right underneath it with keys, where it's get key, get key down, and get key up. Similarly, we have it with mouse button, so that's get mouse button, get mouse button down, and get mouse button up. And you'll find the same naming convention in other custom actions and actions provided for third-party assets like rewired, or the actions that support Unity's new input system. Now, the get button actions make use of Unity's input axes, so the input manager that is the original way of getting input in Unity. Just because we have to go through the extra step of filling out what the button name is, we're actually just going to make it a little easier to understand in this tutorial by using the get key actions. Okay, so I have a game object here that I'm just going to put some of these actions on so we can see how they work. The first one I'm going to put in is the get key action. In here, you could select the key, and I'm just going to put in space. So the input that this is looking for is the space bar, and it has a store result here, so that'll just be a bool value that we can call is down. Now, we have this every frame option here. By default, it's not on, but for the sake of showing you how this works, I'm going to select this as every frame so it can run. Okay, now I'm going to press play. And get key, you'll see that the description here says gets the pressed state of a key. So, right now it's currently false, but if I hit space, it's true. Now I'm holding space, so it still says true. When I let go, it says false. If I tap the space bar, it'll say true for just a second. Right now, you couldn't even see it because I tapped it too fast. If you tap it for just a little longer, you can see that it flashes as true. Sometimes you can see it say true even if you tap it really fast. What I hope that illustrates though, sometimes the inputs being read happen so fast that some of the interfaces in Unity don't really illustrate that. Okay, so that's get key. So in situations that you use a get key action, you'd pair it with a bool test. Okay, so this would also be running every frame and it'd be looking at the bool variable is down and if it's true, you could send off to next, okay? And that way when we press play, you'll see that it's hanging out here. It's running every frame, just waiting for us to press something. And once I tap it, it sends off to the next state. So I'm gonna hit the space bar before the game starts running. Okay, so I'm pressing it down, and now I'm gonna press play. Okay, and you'll see that once the game started running, it immediately went to the next state, okay? because the pressed state of the space bar was down. So I'm gonna get rid of this get key and this bool test. And instead we're gonna have a get key down. Okay, now the get key down will also make use of the space bar and it'll store the result is down. I'm gonna get rid of this transition so we don't get too confused here. Okay, it's not sending any events. It's just storing that in a bool variable. So if I press play, now I'm gonna tap the space bar. Okay, didn't show anything. I'm gonna tap it a little longer this time. Still didn't show anything. Okay, and I could tap it a bunch of times and you'll only see it show true every now and then. At this point, you might be thinking to yourself, well, this is an unreliable action. But in reality, get key down is working a little differently from just get key. This is best illustrated by pressing and holding the spacebar, which I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna press and hold it. Okay, so I'm holding down the space bar, but this still says false. So what's going on here? Well, that's because what get key down is looking for is it's looking for the moment that the key is going from up to down, but not necessarily the state of being down. We can see that working by putting in a bool test. And we're gonna be looking for is down. And something worth noting here too is that get key down was running every frame even though it doesn't have an every frame option. Okay, so this bool test will need to specify that every frame, right? We're looking at the is down and if it is down, we'll send next and it'll go off to this next state here, okay? So let's press play. Okay, so we're here in the first state and I'm just gonna tap the space bar. And it reads it perfectly fine. And it'll do that every single time. So in the second state, I'm actually just gonna put in a next frame event. And we'll just say back to start, right? So it goes back over here. And we'll also just set that bool value back to false or over here. So we can press play and I'm gonna hit the space bar. And you'll see that 
the state did light up. We did fire off to that next state. So I'm just tapping it. But if I hold it, it doesn't keep going to that second state. It only goes the one time. Tapping it, fires it off. But if I hold it, nothing. I'm holding it right now, not doing anything. Let me show you what happens if I put a get key in here. Okay, so it will be looking for the space bar. I'm gonna turn off the get key down here. And we're gonna be storing the is down, running every frame. Okay, so this is the one we just used before this. If I press play, and I hold the space bar, you can see how it's sending back and forth between these two states as long as I'm holding the space bar. And now I'm gonna let go, and it stops. So you can see that the difference is that with a get key down, it's looking merely for that transitional moment when the key is, is initially being sent as down, but not the current state of being up or down. Now, what's also nice about these is that you can get rid of the bull test and you don't even have to store a result, but then you could send an event. Okay, so I'm gonna press play. And you can see that that event sends just as well. So it's now all nice and compact into one action. So similarly, if I put in a get key up and we're looking for the space bar, we'll store the result is up. And then over here, we'll reset that value is up. We're not gonna put in a bull test yet, just so it stays here and we could look at this bull value. It's currently false. Now I haven't pressed the space bar or anything. The space bar is up right now, but this store result is false. So this get key up is actually more similar to the get key down action than it is to the get key action. Because like the get key down action, this is looking for that transitional phase, that initial moment that the key is registered as up. So right now it's false, even though the key is up. But if I press the space bar down and then let go of it, in that moment that I let go, when it went up from down, get key up would have got something. But again, just like the get key down, it doesn't necessarily register here in the interface because it happens so quickly. Okay, so if I just tap it a bunch, can't really see it, kind of flashes there. You might catch it every now and then. But just like get key down, if we put in a bull test, we could see it in action. So I'm gonna say the is up, we're running every frame. If it's true, we'll send next. Now when we press play, You'll see that if I press the space bar down, holding it down, now the moment I let go of it and it goes up, it should send off to the next state. Three, two, one, and there it goes. Okay, so I'm holding it down and I let go. So you can see that on letting go, when it goes up, that first moment is how it reads the input. All right, and of course, this one also has a nice option of using a send event. So if you press play, hold the key down and then let go of it down let go of it it sends that event just as expected okay so hopefully that clears up some things on how to use these input actions again this is also the same type of logic in the other actions besides the get key one so get button get button down get button up as well as your get mouse button mouse button down and mouse button up down and up are always looking for the first moment that that happens Whereas just getting a button or a key is looking at the current state of the thing and returning a true or false bool value. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.